it. I think it's all about learning, earning, and having fun. Um, and you, you got to celebrate the wins along the way. So everyone's coming through, regardless of role. I mean, we we all want to be learning in our roles. We, we want to be developing as professionals in our roles all the way along. But we also want to be celebrating the wins. So sometimes, you know, as you're tracking along for targets or when when things are are, are tough or challenging or whatever. Um, we need to take stock of where we are. We need to take stock of where people are. We need to be reminded a lot of people are working remote and they're, they're sitting in their in their houses all day long and they might need a little bit more encouragement or a little bit more motivation to keep them going. But I always break it down to three things, learning, earning and having fun. And one of the things that I would focus on is being completely upfront and transparent with people. You covered that, I think, in your, your first or second point there. But being upfront, being transparent with people, uh, we call it no sugar. Um, I got it from, from a book and it was kind of something I... I put into my management style a number of years ago was the, the radical candor piece which is like you know care personally challenge directly and I think that fosters the best relationships where you're is just as open for feedback as the feedback you're giving to others so that's kind of how I would drive motivation and performance and create a sales performance culture. No very very similar again um, and maybe what I'll add is um, I think I've come across a few 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 BDR SDR teams where um, a lot is about just the celebration and uh, and and that's sometimes like an like a real a real miss. Uh, I fully agree that I mean at least the the ones we hire and the ones we see kind of like really enjoy the roles are the ones that come to learn and who come to be and you understand exactly where they why they're here and the value that they're adding to the to the prospect to the conversations that they're having. Um, we I think Vincent, you're from the from project management project management world before. I like to tell my SDR team that um, they could be consultants for any. Any any tier one consulting firm out there and and handling complex projects for for all of their for all of their prospects because that's the type of conversation that they should get should they should be getting and they should feel they should feel completely I don't know like at the end of the day they should feel like they've really had a, a like a, a proper conversation where they've understood another business's uh, needs another business's structure and they were able to from what they've heard from other companies tell, talking to them from other peers talking to them other managers they were able to add uh, maybe a solution here and maybe their product was the solution but maybe it wasn't even the solution but at least they they contributed uh, at their own extent and they might be junior but this is this is what we're aiming for them to 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 have in terms of conversation so that's that's for me the the in the end, what sticks, uh, because celebration is great and we, we love it also, uh, but in the end, what sticks at the end of the month is usually uh, is usually this, and that's, that's what makes people uh, stay longer longer in the role and, and want to give their best. 